Hello, and welcome to training on the Federal Equal Employment Opportunity Process, also known as the EEO process. This video explains the basics of how a federal employee or applicant for federal employment files a complaint of discrimination. Taking action when you think you have been discriminated against is your right. So it is important for you to understand the process. In this video, we will explain the process for filing a complaint of discrimination, the timelines for each step of the process, and some tips to help you stay on track. Before we jump into the process, I want to give you some basic preliminary information. If you are a federal employee or a job applicant for a position with the federal government, the law protects you from discrimination based on your race, color, religion, gender, medical condition, including pregnancy, national origin, age, 40 or older, disability, or genetic information. The law also protects you from retaliation if you oppose employment discrimination, file a complaint of discrimination, or participate in the EEO complaint process. The U.S. Equal Employment Opportunity Commission, or EEOC, is charged with enforcing the laws that provide you with these civil rights. If you believe your civil rights in employment were violated, you have the right to complain. So let's look at the process. You have 45 days to contact an agency EEO counselor from the date you believe you have been discriminated against. During the informal counseling process, which traditionally takes up to 30 days, the EEO counselor will discuss your complaint and inform you of your rights and responsibilities. If you are offered an Elect Alternative Dispute Resolution, or ADR, an extra 60 days is allowed for the process to work to attempt to settle your complaint with the agency. If that attempt fails, or ADR is not elected, you will be issued a Notice of Right to File your complaint, which you must file within 15 days. After your complaint is filed, it will either be accepted for investigation or will be dismissed for failing to meet certain minimum standards, such as stating a valid claim or failure to meet timelines. If your complaint is accepted for investigation, the agency normally has 180 days to complete the investigation from the date of the filing of the formal complaint. At the end of the investigation, you will be sent the Report of Investigation (ROI) and given 30 days to choose whether you want a hearing with an EEOC Administrative Judge AJ, or a final agency decision. You may also choose a hearing after 180 days, even if the investigation is not complete. If you choose a hearing, an AJ will take control of your case and issue findings and a decision. The agency will then have 40 days from the receipt of the AJ's decision to issue a final order. If the agency disagrees with the AJ's decision in any manner in its order, must simultaneously appeal the decision to EEOC's Office of Federal Operations. On the other hand, if no hearing is requested, the agency has 60 days to make findings and issue a final agency decision. You have 30 days to appeal this decision to OFO, the Office of Federal Operations. After OFO makes its decision on the appeal by either you or the agency, you have 90 days from the date you received the decision to take the matter to federal district court. If you choose, you also have the right to opt out of the federal process after 180 days from the filing of your formal complaint, or 180 days from the date of your appeal with EEOC. If you do choose to go to federal court, your complaint will start all over from the beginning. 